Hello, my name is Nick Carroll, and today I'm going to set up the HTC Re camera suction mount in my car. So the recipe is pretty simple, and let me show you the ingredients. So number one, I need to have the Re camera. That's what this is. Number two, I need the suction mount itself. This is what's going to mount into the, with the, the car on the windshield. Number three, I need my Nexus 4 smartphone, because I'm going to do some filming here as well as controlling the re-camera from it. Uh, number four, I need the square jellyfish tripod mount. And that's what I'll be using with my smartphone to mount this on the tripod. And last but not least, this Vivitar tripod behind me, I'll be using that in the back seat of the car set up to record everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, let's begin this adventure. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be where I'm going to set the tripod up. Okay, so this is what the point of view looks like from the re camera mounted on the tripod. It's back quite a bit, so I'm not sure I'm going to use this for filming this. Alright, so we're going to give this a shot. The instructions basically state that this suction mount, first of all I'm going to peel this off But it states that all I got to do is essentially set, set this against the windshield and then turn this little thing here. And that'll basically push it up against there. So first I need to have this oriented like this, top mount. So actually, so it's like this. So this pointing towards the bottom. Hook this against there and then turn this right here and then you can orient this however you want you can also tighten this up here so first I'm going to put this right about here this may be too tall I don't really know put this here that's not working very well Let's see, reading the instructions, press the suction mount firmly against the surface and turn the base wheel clockwise until it's locked into place. So, let's try this again. Put this roughly in the middle, roughly point it down, and push it firmly against it. Oh, okay, that's locked into place. Let's see how sturdy it is. Well, that seems pretty sturdy. Now, the way you're supposed to mount this re-camera is you can do it two ways. You can do it top mount like this, or you can do it like that. You can do it like that, and then you can tighten this up. So, I'm going to orient it like this towards up and down. Whoops. Now I need to tighten this up. That's where that's going to stay sturdy. There we go. And then all you got to do is point the re directly at you. Now this may actually be too high, but I've got it pointed right at me, so I'll have to see what the video looks like. But essentially you just play around with this until you get this oriented where you want it. Then you can get this pointing the direction you want. And the cool thing about it with it hanging upside down like that, you can basically point it that way as well. And right here it's fairly close enough to me. And the microphone is actually down here. I'm pointing right here. So this is approximately two feet away from me. And uh that seems like it's going to work. So in a minute, we'll go ahead and do a test drive and uh, we'll see what this looks like. So this is either going to be upside down or it's going to be right side up. I have the uh, resettings set to uh, automatically flip vertically. So the video that you're seeing here should be upright. It's now showing as upright to me. When I hit record, this finally goes into upright mode. But when I stop recording, the video seems to be flipped. So let's see if I stop 
recording if it if it does that. Yeah, so the instant I stop recording, this image flips upside down to where it looks normal. But the instant you hit the record button, it flips it vertically. So that's actually kind of funny. So I noticed that it's not pointed directly at me, so I need to point it a little bit differently. So there we go. Alrighty, my shades are on, my seatbelt's on. Now all I gotta do is start up the car and uh, we're gonna see what the sound's like. Uh, again, I wanna see if the audio quality has improved with me adjusting the, the camera to this orientation. All right, I've started up the car. I've got the air conditioning going very low just to see what the audio levels are. And now I'm gonna back up start driving around we're just gonna take a quick tour around the block before I go now that I'm off the incline of the garage let me see how this looks okay that's cool so I'm looking at the uh, smartphone to get the orientation I can also start and stop recording just by hitting this on the smartphone so that's cool so now here we go put it in drive now we're gonna do a quick drive around the block just to see what this is like. I'm going to go up a slight incline as I go up onto the street. Oops, there's a car. I'm not in a hurry. Alright, now I'm going out onto the main road. I realize this is going to be boring to most of you, but to me this is interesting because I want to see what the audio levels are. It's like I'm accelerating, driving with the air conditioning on, on low. But I just want to see what this looks and sounds like uh, once I upload this to my computer. So essentially the process that I do is, you know, I record all the video onto this uh, camera, then once I'm done, I share it to my phone, and in that sharing process to the phone, I have it set to delete those files once they're moved off the camera onto the phone. And then what I do is I connect the phone up to my computer via USB and I just move all the files over into a folder, thus removing them off the smartphone. So what you get in this case is no file duplication. And that's actually kind of important when you're dealing with video because you can get into a circumstance where you have so much video all over the place on your computer that it essentially uses up all the hard drive space so and that's that's not good particularly if it's duplicate video so there is an apparent noise that's occurring when I'm driving even though this re camera is really solid here and isn't making a lot of noise to me and this uh, suction mount isn't making noise I can't figure out what's causing this noise with the re camera so here I am driving I'm not hearing any audible noise I'm now holding the rear camera and I'm going to see if that helps to minimize helps to minimize that audible noise because I'm not hearing anything at all I'm now holding the rear camera and I'm going to see if that helps to minimize helps to minimize that audible noise because I'm not hearing anything at all I'm now touching just the side of the rear camera just to make sure that it's not the rear itself doing any of the shaking causing any of this noise. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but it's a little annoying, so we're gonna find out when I get back in the house what exactly is going on. All right, so we're gonna try something different. I've oriented this, the uh, three camera in a different direction. It's now pointing upright the way it normally does, and I'm gonna drive around real quick, and I'm gonna see if it picks up any uh, any of that rattling that's been going on. There appears to be something inside the re itself that's vibrating and making a little bit of noise. So I think that's actually what's causing the noise that I've been hearing on screen. So I'm actually gonna drive a very short range just so I can see if this continues. If so, I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to mount this. So we're just gonna see what I can do. And I can actually place this re-camera somewhere else if needed. I think what the re-camera is picking up 
is the rear camera itself. I don't know if this is an issue with this being a first revision product. Maybe it's a, a defect within the product. I'm not really sure. The camera seems to be working fine in every other circumstance except for being used in a, a suction mount when driving. So it looks like there's a little bit of an issue with the rear camera itself, either design or defect, that causes a little bit of a rattling noise when in use, when driving, uh, and installed in that suction mount. I don't really notice this issue when I'm holding it, when I'm moving around or doing anything, but I noticed when reviewing some of the video that just tapping it a little bit causes that issue. There's nothing broke here, and when I shake it, I can practically hear nothing, but I hear just the tiniest thing. But there's apparently something inside that moves just a tiny bit that it's enough to essentially rattle and cause noises uh, when recording video or you know just when it's yeah well when it's recording video so that's a little bit distressing that's one avenue of usage that I would like to use but can't do this noise issue as you can hear in the video so I have to figure something out anyways thank you very much for watching and have a great day